Hey, Carla. Yep. We got a report of that Bigfoot setting. And uh, as soon as I dropped these kids off here, I'm going to meet David at the airport. And uh, we're going to do a flyover at the uh, site there in Rodney, Mississippi. So uh, anyway, we'll keep you up to date on as to what's going on. So uh, anyway, we'll talk to you later on this evening. Bye-bye. Okay. So uh, did Paula call you? <laughs> yeah, and I'm not going to tell you about what she scared me. <laughs> Did she? Yeah. Well, uh, she told me that, that we got a good uh, location on and, uh, as to where the siding is. Okay. Yeah. So anyway, basically the pilot, he's going to take a low fly in and, and, and uh, we're going to look at a particular field. Yeah. So,
good evidence for the Bigfoot hunt. What do you think? I got a uh, shit of war diaper. <laughs> yeah, I hear you. Anyway, closing for now. That's what happens whenever me and Rob sit close to each other. In about uh, nine, uh, sometime in the summer of 1964, I was hitchhiking from Fort Campbell, Kentucky to Detroit, Michigan. I was out on the highway at about 2 o'clock in the morning on a beautiful summer night. And I watched this light come across the sky, maybe three or four feet. I watched it for about 10 minutes. And then it just took off to the left and disappeared. What color was it? White. Just white. Just white light. Yeah. What color are m most of the lights on planes? Oh. Uh, well, as the light never got any bigger or smaller, but like the wingtip lights here are red on this side and green on the other side and then white. You know, landing lights, this type of thing. Did it move real fast, like crazier than any well, aircraft could do? Well, no, that was this thing. It kept coming, kept coming for about four foot of sky, which is pretty good ways. Oh, really? And then it made a 90 degree turn. I mean, not it just went wow. that away and disappeared. Okay. So coming from a pilot, I mean, most people think of if you say UFO, they think you're insane or whatever. But I yeah, mean, yeah, it we, would be hard to say. But right, well, the, the fact way, that it made a 90 degree turn disappeared in about a minute after it went that way. Right, with no clouds in the sky. So so it was just a it perfectly clear day. Well, it was night. Yeah, yeah, it was rather. Interesting. That's it. Yeah. Awesome.
<laughs> well, there you have it, coming from a pilot. UFOs are out there. Uh, most of us classify UFO as an unidentified flying object, but you have the objects in the sky that are just totally unexplainable. Uh, n normally a situation he described that would probably break someone's neck or their body just fly apart, you know, in any ordinary aircraft, but for something turning and making a turn such as what he has witnessed, uh, just makes it impossible. But anyway, there you have it. That's our plane ride for today and uh, a little bit of paranormal for you guys. So y'all have a good day and thank you for following us.